Well, it's time to implement the action plan to deal with racism and xenophobia. That's the word from the Justice and Correctional Services Minister, Ronald Lamula. He announced this during the conference to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Third World Conference Against Racism and Xenophobia. Lamula says South Africans can and should report racial incidents to the equality courts, something many are not aware of. My colleague, this reporter, Govan Whitlows, was at that conference in Kempton Park earlier. He joins us now in the studio. Welcome back, uh, Govan. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your time. It's time to implement the action plan. What plan is this that the minister is talking about? National Action Plan is something that they decided on at that Third World Conference Against Racism and Xenophobia in 2001. That conference uh, obviously was attended by a number of countries held in Durban, um, and the decision was to create an action plan that would not only foster nation building, that would unite different races or different minority groups ac across the country, but would also set out exactly how they would prevent racism and other forms of discrimination. Why has this plan not been promoted a lot? I mean, you said 2001? 2001, and then it took them 17 years to develop this plan and eventually get approval by cabinet in 2019. Right now, we're taking the first steps of implementing this plan. And you could really say the first... Three years after it was approved. Three years after it was approved and 20 years after the first conference happened. Today was actually a conference commemorating the conference that happened in 2001. And the decision has been to come up with all, uh, with all manner of uh, mechanisms that would combat racism. And essentially, one of the highlights would be the development of the preventing... Um, Preventing and Combating of Racism and Other Forms of Discrimination Bill, which is being finalized in Parliament and should go through. And of xenophobia course, is part of that. That, of course, falls within that. And what the Justice Minister said today is he wants to see the implementation um, of that plan. Even though some of it may only be a bill right now, there are other steps that they could uh, start working on, such as bringing different groups together. That's what they tried to do with this conference. And he has his own explanation on what the plan is and how he would like it to be implemented. Uh, of course, there is a lot of criticism, but before we get to that, let's listen to the Justice Minister and uh, what he thinks of the plan. In 2001, South Africa hosted the Third World Conference Against Racism, Racial Discrimination, Xenophobia and Related Intolerance. This was a vote of confidence in us that our constitution has the ingredients to transform our society. We can be a beacon of light to the world. And thank you, uh, Sham, for raising the issue. Why did it take us for, for so long to come up with a national action plan? But we now have it. It's better late than never. Let's ensure that we implement it and work to build what the national action plan says we should do. Twenty years later, Article 66 of the Deben Declaration and the program of action is no longer something that we need to aspire to. It must be a reality and a necessity on our day-to-day -day lives. As we celebrate the 25 years anniversary of our constitution coming into effect, we need to be more deliberate our, about our next 25 years. What happens in the next 25 years is in our hands. It will depend on what we do when we leave this conference. It depends on what all South Africans do in whatever corner where they are. Because the constitution, you know, this plan is not going to implement itself. It needs agents of transformation. You know, as I'm listening to the minister, they're saying better late than never. It's taken us 20 years, but the plan is now here. Now he says we need agency and agency. I mean, it has been so slow. I mean, you got a Durban declaration 21 years ago in 2001. You as a cabinet take like 18 years to 2019 to sit down and come up with this plan. You approve it and you wait another three years before you implement it. It's unbelievable slowness when there's such an urgent issue around racism in this country, for example. And we've seen South Africans also being upset about undocumented foreign nationals bordering on xenophobia. And those are the factors that have made organizations like Ahmed Kathrada question whether or not the government is serious about addressing this problem. There's another element to this that they've pointed out, Bradan, that the committee, the unit that's tasked with developing this plan and essentially coming up with a way to solve one of South Africa's biggest problems only consists of five 
people. And they say, the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation saying that this is testament to how seriously the government is taking this. And it's also reflected in their engagement, the foundation's engagement with this unit, because every time they try to follow up on what kind of programs they could come up, how, up with, how could it be implemented, they're told by members of this unit who are de facto under the Department of Justice that they simply don't have the resources to implement this. They but don't have the have budget or the team size. like the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation that's committed to find racism in this country they've been doing it for years and they've got experience they could share with the with this committee and this committee of five it doesn't cover everybody this kind of process you want it to be all-inclusive you want it to be all-inclusive in its diversity gender-wise age-wise and otherwise to make sure that everybody can buy in in this important urgent matter of fighting uh, uh, racism okay I understand that's not the only issue that's been there that came up today as I said in my intro the minister pointing out that you can report racial incidents or racism of at equality courts what did he say about the courts the equality court is very important in fighting racism at least according to the justice minister and he was responding here to what happened in Stellenbosch saying that he's welcomed the pupil opening a criminal case um, after his possessions were urinated on in that incident of racism and the minister saying that he hopes that people will also lay a formal complaint with the Equality Court. So this is the process, according to the minister. You go to the court and you lay your complaint with the clerk of the Equality Court. And every court in this country functions as an Equality Court. The minister calling on South Africans to go to their nearest magistrate's court, speak to the clerk, and lay a complaint at that point. The court will then issue a summons against the person who you've laid the complaint, and then the case would be ventilated in the Equality Court. So, so any court acts as an Equality Court. So you can't say, I can't find an Equality Court. Exactly like that. And more, more importantly, the minister trying to point out here, you can skip the police station. You don't have to go to the police station before you lay the case. And and in that way, the minister says that his assertion that South Africa's laws on racism already bite hard enough will be tested. He's saying the biggest thing missing in the country is enough cases to test it at the Equality Court time after time. And they need and to create more awareness among citizens that there is an Equality Court everywhere, just across the board, like the road perhaps or not so, but not so far away you can go. They don't have to even go to the police station. Very important messaging there that you are sharing, uh, Govan. It is indeed. And uh, his main point was to raise it that you don't have to go to the police station you can go straight to the clock I have prepared another segment from the minister let's take a look at what he has to say about the Equality Court and the process of reporting incidents of racism we just need to focus more on implementation for example uh, the Equality Courts um, are there every court it's an Equality Court but uh, if you look across the country there are no real uh, cases that uh, come through except a few that uh, uh, deal with these incidences of racism. And if you go to any small town across the country, any platform, there is a court and there are racist uh, incidences that may offend the equality section in the, in the constitution. So I think we need to develop more awareness to make people aware that um, they can use the equality court in any place where they are to report these incidences of, um, of racism, as you will have heard from the baseline study, that the biggest problem is that uh, people do not report that while they feel and think they experience racism, but they do not really report it.